Here's what Dave Ramsey, the popular Christian radio host, gets wrong about World Financial Group, WFG. Um, I want to talk about that for a second. If you don't know Dave Ramsey, he's a radio host who really highly, strongly uh, caters to the Christian market, uh, which is smart. It's a big market, and he plays that very strongly, that card very strongly. And while he's helped a lot of people get out of debt, which I really respect, that's, he delivers very pedestrian financial advice. He's not a superstar financial expert at any level. He started out, if you don't know, as a Primerica uh, multi-level marketing associate with Primerica. And that's where he learned, the, I think, the basics about money. And uh, then now he's, a, he's basically an entertainer on radio, who delivers you know, pedestrian advice to the masses. And that's all great because he tells people to pay your house off. He tells people to get out of debt. And that's all very good, okay? But when you're looking at your money, <clears throat> you want to get the best advice possible. I, I wrote this book years ago called How Rich People Think. It sold over a million copies. And this is, this is based on interviews I did with, at the time, over 1,200 of the wealthiest people in the world, one of which was not Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey likes to tell people on his radio show, if you watch it, if you watch it at all or listen to it, how rich he is. When someone has to tell you how rich they are, they're not that rich. <laughs> the people I interviewed in this book were multi-billionaires, most of them. Uh, and, and so they don't tell you how rich they are because they actually have a lot of money. When people start telling you how rich they are, it's a good indication that they're not. Anyway, side story. But <clears throat> let's talk about what Dave Ramsey completely gets wrong. One of the things he gets wrong, but especially as it concerns World Financial Group and their flagship, or what I call at least their flagship product, which is the indexed universal life insurance product. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with this product and you're looking at getting into WFG or you're in WFG and you're looking to learn more about it and that type of thing or how to navigate, you know, the structure of World Financial Group, which takes a little time and, and understanding, the Index Universal Life product <clears throat> is absolutely one of the best financial products ever created. Okay, now here's what Dave Ramsey will say about you know, the Index Universal Life. He'll say, he'll say, you never combine an investment product with an insurance product. Okay, that's bad advice right off the bat. I'm just telling you. Okay, I've been in the market as long as Dave Ramsey has, but I've studied finance as long as Dave Ramsey has, and there are people far beyond my level and his level that will tell you the same thing. That's, that's not really a great answer, unless you don't want life insurance. Okay, if you don't want life insurance, then, then there's a point to saying, well, you're paying the fee for life insurance, so you want to put that money into, you can put that money if you don't need it, into investments. <clears throat> I think life insurance is a phenomenal product. I think almost everyone should have it. Uh, because things happen, life happens. And so the Index Universal Life product combines a life insurance product with a potential tax-advantaged money-making, money-investing, money-growing strategy that is <clears throat> very hard to compete with. Okay, so if you're not really familiar with the IUL or you're not super, I'm just going to make it real basic because you can di dig real deep into the structure of an IUL product and you may know this already. But <clears throat> on a basic level, you get life insurance, you get a life insurance contract, so you have life insurance for your family, so you're protected, okay, which is always a good idea. And then if you do what wealthy people have done for many, many years, far before World Financial Group was even around, and Dave Ramsey was around for that matter. They overfund these life insurance contracts, okay? You overfund it to the point where the government will you know, let you, will allow you, okay? And what happens is you stick that money in the contract and that you pay the taxes up front before you, before you stick the money in it. And the money grows tax-free and just as importantly, compounding every month. And just as important, it comes out tax-free. So for all these people across the country, you may be one of these people, you may not be, that have this 401k, and you hear this on the Dave Ramsey show all the time, people say, I have $2 million in my 401k. Well, guess what? When you take it out, you got $1 million if you're lucky, or maybe a little bit more than that or a little bit less, okay? The government is gonna take a huge cut out of your 401k, okay? If you had $2 million in an IUL product, <clears throat> and you take that $2 million out, guess how much the government gets? Goose egg. Nothing. My old friend and co-host here, uh, Ben Franklin, who's a little stoic right now, he's not really talking much right now, kind of marbleized at this point in his life, but, uh, but he would agree completely with me on this, on this subject. You, you want the $2 million or you want the $1 million? If you want the $1 million, get a 401k and, put it, and, and get $2 million built up. You want, you want 
all the money, it's your money. It's growing tax-free, it's compounding every month, and when it comes out, <clears throat> the IRS can't touch it. That's the beauty of an overfunded life insurance contract. I don't know what Dave Ramsey doesn't understand about this. It's not rocket science. Rich people have been doing this for years. They've been overfunding contracts because it's a loophole in the IRS tax code where they can't take your money. <clears throat> it's one of the greatest products. It is, in my opinion, the best product. Besides the opportunity that World Financial Group actually has is the IUL. I own $2 million IULs. I fund, I overfund them every single year. They're phenomenal products. They've done, we've had them for many years. They grow like crazy. They're fantastic. They're totally safe in the market. And we've also, of course, got the life insurance contract along with the, with the overfunded, um, you know, the overfunding. So, and, and there's other benefits to it. You can use it as your own bank. They call it the rich man's bank. People that really understand it. Okay. Unlike Dave Ramsey, <laughs> that really, and you, if you're working with someone, you may know this, or you're working with someone and you're upline with World Financial. If you're not, if you're brand new, you're looking at the business, ask them about the overfunded IUL and how you can use it as your personal bank. <clears throat> I won't go into the details of that. Not the point. But this is what so many people, Dave Ramsey is one of them, just one of them. He's just very popular and very, you know, he's very prolific with, with you know, his, his broadcasts. They, they get wrong about this product. This is a phenomenal product. It has to be structured correctly. If you don't know what that means, go to your person you're working with and say, I need it structured correctly based on the criteria in my life, what I need, what my needs are, you know, currently. And then overfund that thing like crazy. You get life insurance, you get money growing tax-free, coming out tax-free. You also can use it as your own personal bank. What's not to love about this product? Here's what I'll wrap with. <clears throat> as Ben Franklin, my friend, would tell you, there is no perfect financial product. You're going to pay money on products okay it's just it, there's no perfect product so stop looking for it if you're looking for it. believe me i'm looking for it my whole life i'm still looking for it it's not there there's always downsides to products this product is one of the best products you can possibly have and anyone that tells you differently does not understand finance they don't they just don't unless again they're making the case that they don't want life insurance they don't need life insurance which i think for most people is foolish uh, depending on your situation um, and again talk to a financial person you're working with in world financial and they'll explain this but when you offer this to people as, you know, as an associate in WFG and they're a prospect, they don't, if they're not finance people, they don't really understand this, but you're giving them the gift of knowledge and then eventually the gift of tax free money or money that would you paid the taxes on when it was a small investment in the IUL and then it grew into this big nest egg over, over the years and you don't pay taxes on that. Would you rather pay taxes on the small amount the seed, or would you rather pay taxes on the large amount, the harvest? Ben, what do you think? Ben's not talking right now, but he would tell you, pay the money on the small seed as opposed to the large harvest. Something to think about. World Financial Group gets it right. Dave Ramsey gets it wrong.